out. <laughs> we are replacing the cigarette lighter in the 1984 Chevrolet K30 uh, Crew Cab 4x4, which makes no difference really. Okay, so I sent away for this um, cigarette lighter from, I don't know, Classic Industries or something. So it's a Dorman cigarette lighter which uh, probably you go down to your O'Reilly's and uh, go over to their little doorman rack and you could probably pick this up um, down there. I threw the package away so I couldn't give you the uh, part number. So <clears throat> you've taken your ashtray out, the center portion, and if you look back there you can see two tabs that you're going to bend up you can change the cigarette lighter the way it is. Um, if there's any kind of corrosion or it's on there tightly, um, it's kind of difficult, especially if you have air conditioning and you can't reach up underneath there. So we're gonna bend those tabs and uh, proceed. Tab I am talking about is right back there on the left and it has a rubber bumper that has been painted body color. Um, so there's one of those on either side. I'm going to take a large screwdriver. I'm going to bend those up. Okay, you see that tab back there? I have bent it up. I've bent it up on both sides with a large screwdriver. <clears throat> it actually takes a little bit of force to bend those up. So then open the door. And you'll see the there's a that wire right there that goes into that slot. There's one of those on both sides. So be careful when you open the door. So those don't fall out. That's actually what makes the door flop back close when you close the ashtray door. So then you can just uh, hopefully unscrew. I believe there's actually a socket that you can buy to unscrew the uh, cigarette lighter. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do this and then be right back. Okay, so I just stuck my index finger in there and then turned it obviously counterclockwise. It took a little bit of force to uh, get it loose, but um, it is loose now. Okay, so we have the old one, which uh, the little button was stuck, so it wouldn't operate. Uh, so the new one, obviously comes with the cigarette lighter and it comes with a ground strap that you can uh, place into a screw on the bottom side of the dash there uh, so anyway let's put this in interesting tidbit is that the new one has a round push on post the old orange wire is um, a spade so I will cut that off and put a uh, a bullet style connector on there. Okay, so we put a uh, female bullet connector on, which fits right onto the male side of the cigarette lighter. Uh, this is a 16 gauge uh, bullet connector, and it should have been a 14 gauge. So I had to squeeze the wire into the 16 gauge. Uh, situation so um, but it's uh, completely applicable and functional so I'll put that on there and then I'll attach the ground wire the power wire is attached now the ground wire is attached uh, we are functional and uh, operable so um, I guess there you go thanks for watching and you don't need to bend the tabs and uh, pull the uh, door all the way down. But it does make it a lot easier. And it's fairly easy to do. Thanks for watching.